First scene. At Eltham in Froy's Hall. Scotty, Froy's mother, speaks to Skirney, Froy's messenger. Scotty. Arise, Skirney, and go and get speech of our son, and ask our goodly son with whom he is angry. Skirney. I shall get but evil words from your son if I try to speak with him and ask your goodly son against whom his wrath is kindled. Second scene. Skirney goes up to Froy. Skirney. Tell me, O Froy, thou captain of the gods, fain would I know why thou, my lord, sittest the live long day alone in thy hall. Froy. How can I tell thee, my young boy, my heavy heart's sorrow? For the sun shines day by day, but brings no joy to me. Skirney. Can thy grief be so great that thou, my friend, couldst not tell it to me? For we were lads together in past days. Well might we two trust one another. Froy. In Grimace Crofts I saw a walking, a maid I love. Her arms beamed so that the sky and sea were lit thereby. This maid is dearer to me than ever maid was to a young man. But none of the Asir or of the elves will have us to be together. Skirney. Now, give me the horse to bear me through the dark flicker flame thou knowest of, and that sword that bites of itself against the giant kind. Roy, I will give thee the horse to bear thee through the dark flicker flame, and that sword that bites of itself, if he is bold that bears it. Third scene. Skirney, on his way, talks to his horse. Skirney. It is dark all about us. It is time for us to go over the wet hills, over ogre land. We shall both get there unless that foul giant takes us both. Fourth scene. In giant land, outside Grimace Hall, to the shepherd. Skirney. Tell me, shepherd sitting on the how and watching all the ways, how I may come to talk with the young maid in spite of Grimace's hounds. Shepherd, art thou fay or art thou a ghost? Thou canst never get to talk with Grimace's goodly maid. Skirney, he must never be flinching who wants to go on with his journey. One day my fate was fashioned and all my life laid down. Fifth scene, inside the ball, Gerda and a bondsmaid. Gerda, what is that clattering clatter that I hear in our court? The earth is quaking, and all Gimmis household is shaking. Bondsmaid, a man is without here. He has got off his horse and lets his steed graze. Gerda, go, bid him into our hall to drink of our clear mead though it misgives me that my brother's slayer is without. Sixth scene. Gerda welcomes Skirney to the ball. Gerda. Which of the sons of the Asir or of the wise veins is this? How didst thou get over the huge fire to visit our hall? Skirney. I am none of the Asir, nor of the elves, nor of the wise veins. Though alone I came over the huge fire to visit your hall. I have here eleven all-golden apples. These, Gerda, will I give thee to purchase thy favor, that thou mayest call Froy the best beloved of all living. Gerda, thy eleven apples I will never take for anyone's love, nor shall we two, Froy and I, ever live together. Skirna, I will give thee a ring that was burnt with Odin's young son, Eight rings as heavy drop therefrom every ninth night. Gerda, I will take no ring, even though burnt with Odin's young son. I lack no gold in Gimmis's house, bearing my father's wealth. Skirni, look on this blade made, slender, marked with characters that I hold in my hand. I will hew thy head from off thy neck unless thou yieldest to me. I shall never bear to be driven to love any young. Yet, I guess if thou and Gimir meet, you will come to fight. Skirney, look at this blade. 
Before its edge, the old giant shall bow down, and my father fall doomed. I shall touch thee with a magic wand, for I will tame thee, maiden, to my will. Thou shalt go where the sons of men shall never see thee. On the eerie mound thou shalt forever sit, looking out of the world, sniffing hellwards. Meat shall be more loathsome to thee than is the cruel serpent to any man. Thou shalt be made a show of when thou comest out. May Rimni grin upon thee. May everything stare on thee. Thou shalt be better known than the watchman Heimdall among the gods, gaping through the gate. May Madner and Whooper, Teasel and Lust, bring upon thee tears and sorrow. Sit thee down. I will yet tell thee a heavy and double grief. May the demons pinch thee every day in giant land. Thou shalt creep loveless and lovelorn to the frost giant's hall day by day. Thou shalt have weeping for joy, and wear out sorrow with tears. Thou shalt linger forever with a free-headed monster, or else be husbandless. May thy soul be smitten. May thou pine away with pining. Be thou like a thistle head thrust away in the porch. I went to the holt and to the wood to fetch the magic wand and got it. Odin is wroth with thee. The pride of the Aesir, Thor, is wroth with thee. Froy shall hate thee. Thou most wicked maid hast brought down upon thee the wrath of the gods. Hearken, O giants. Hearken, ye frost giants, ye sons of Suttung, ye company of the Aesir. How I forbid, how I deny her all joy of men, all pleasure of men. A monster called Rhymegrim before the coarse gates shall have thee to wipe. There the sons of toil underneath the roots of the wood shall serve thee with no better drink shalt thou get made for thy pleasure at my pleasure. I engrave thee with the sign Thorn, and the three signs Lewdness, Love Madness, Lust, yet will I scrape it off as I scratched it on if need be. Erda, Hail now, lad, and take this foaming cup full of old meat. Though I had not thought that I should ever love Froy well. Skirni. I must have a full answer before I ride hence. When wilt thou have a love tryst with Njord's blooming son? Gerda. Bara is the name of a peaceful corpse we both know. There, after three nights, Gerda will grant her love to Njord's son. Seventh scene. Skirni, back at Elfhem, telling his success to Froy. Tell me, Skirny, before thou castest saddle off thy horse, and takest one step forward, how didst thou fare in giant land, for thy pleasure or mine? Skirny, Bara is the name of a peaceful cult we both know. There, after three nights' time, Berta will grant her love to Njord's son. Eighth scene. Roy. One night is long, two nights are longer. How could I endure three? A month has often seemed shorter to me than this half bridal night.